Hello, I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin, author of Succulent Container Gardens, a timber press release, and I'm at Oasis Water Efficient Gardens in Escondido, California. I'm going to be using the wonderful plant palette that they have here at the nursery to show you how to create a great succulent container garden. So we're going to start with the pot and I have a piece of window screen. You could even use a piece of paper towel to hold the soil in so it doesn't fall through the hole in the pot. So we're going to start by mixing our potting soil. I have just regular potting soil that you can buy at any nursery and some pumice. It's used to absorb moisture in horse stalls. Now pumice is uh, a volcanic rock. It's very lightweight and it leavens the soil, it makes it lighter so that it's faster draining, which is what succulents like. So see, here you, here you can see how I've mixed it, and you pretty much have half and half pumice and potting soil. Just going to dump that right into the pot, and then the fun starts. We get to select our plants, and I saw this stunning afterglow echeveria in the nursery. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm just going to slide this out of its pot. And I have a bucket there to catch the soil. And I'm going to do a symmetrical floral style arrangement, meaning that my main element is going to be right in the middle. Now, if your composition is going to have a front and a back, in other words, you're going to put it in a place in your garden, maybe on a patio table, then you want to tip the main rosette toward the viewer. Otherwise, if you're going to be seeing the composition from all sides, you would just put it straight up like that. Now, as I was going through the nursery, oh, there are so many choices. And I thought, well, this could be interesting. Look at the colors in that. Now keep in mind that your most important design principles are contrast and repetition. So here we've got some contrast going on with the red of the graptocetum. Isn't that lovely with that? Look at the, the red with the purple of the plant. And we're just going to cram these in here pretty tightly because we're creating a look of lushness. And our sedum is going to be our filler when we have any gaps. I like to use three plants minimum in a composition. Always think of odd numbers. They're more pleasing to the eye. I don't know why, but if you go with one, three, or five, you usually have a pretty good result. Now these will eventually trail over the side over time. You know, when I was going through the nursery, I, I saw these, I thought, oh, that might be really interesting. But look, of the two, I think this one's going to work better because it has some red in the stems that is going to look really good with the red in the graptocetum. And I'm just going to take the, uh, the different pieces of the sedum and just use it as a filler. And this is pretty, pretty much even, pretty much a balanced arrangement. You don't have to do that. You could have something more off to one side if you wanted. Just play with it. See what you like to do. See what looks good. Okay, so I think we're just about done. And remember, this sedum's going to cascade. It's going to be beautiful over time. Yeah, I have a one left. Where should I tuck? I'll just tuck that right in there. Okay, now, one thing that a lot of people don't think about when they're doing an arrangement is a top dressing. I have a palette of top dressings over here. Have fun with your top dressings. And this is basically just some rocks that you tuck in. You don't really want your top dressing to call too much attention to itself. This is probably my best choice. It's subtle. It picks up some of the warm tones in the plants. And I'm just going to drop it in here and there to cover up any gaps in the soil. And just, just add that little bit of 
polish. Now, you just want to dribble the water enough to, to just get it nice and moist and help the roots settle. The idea with succulents is that you want to keep the soil as moist as a wrung out sponge. And there we have our finished composition. I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin, author of Succulent Container Gardens from Timber Press, and I'm at Oasis Water Efficient Gardens in North San Diego County, a great place to find a whole palette of succulent plants.